and welcome to another episode of FUBAR. In today's video I want to show you how to create a custom metric from serverless framework to your CloudWatch dashboard. If you want to watch more content about serverless, cloud, software engineers, practices in general, subscribe to my channel in the red button below. I post a video every Tuesday, so let's get started! <laughs> So I already kicked out this series in the previous video, I leave you the card on the top when I talk about what is CloudWatch. There I show you how to do login and basic metrics and create a dashboard. This video is one step more on this series and we are going to create a custom metric to publish to CloudWatch so we can do some kind of analysis on things that we are interested in. So this is going to be a very practical video, I will use serverless framework everything will be infrastructure as code and I will show you step by step how to get this done. So let's go to the code. So for this video what I will do is I will grab the code that we have created in the CloudWatch first video. I will leave the link on the description box for the code, you can get it from GitHub, but it's a very very simple uh, function with an API gateway that triggers that function. I will just use that and what I will do in the serverless YAML I will create a custom metric. So let's go over this custom metric. You can find the code in GitHub. We'll put it under the resource because this is cloud formation scripting. So we are going to put it under the resource and then we will put a name for this cloud formation metric that is serverless cloud watch custom metric filter because it's very long and complicated. The type is AWS logs metric filter and the properties will have the log group name but I will use the same log group name as the function will have. That is AWS Lambda Serverless CloudWatch. That is the name of the service. Dev, that is the name of the stage. In this case, we are not seeing it, but serverless framework will, will put it by default if you have not configured. And then hello, that is the name of the function. We can create this as a dynamic a string, but for now I just making it hard coded. The next thing is the filter pattern. So whenever we put a log that says record high, then this metric will add one to it. So if we have a counter, what this will do every time in the code, it executes this console log record high, then the metric will increase by one. It's a very simple metric. It's a custom metric and that's the metric name, hello metric, and the stage. You can put any name you want. And you can have this metric in different pieces of code. It doesn't need to be only for this function. You can have it for other serverless projects that they can all impact the same metric. So now after you have done that, then you're going to the handler and you're adding the console log record high. We deploy and speed this up and then we execute this function by just triggering with the URL and we get the random message. We don't care about that. Now we can go and see the logs from our Lambda, go to the monitoring. We can do exactly the same from CloudWatch, but this is easier at least for me to find the exact log. And there you can see that there is record high, it has been logged and hello was called. Good, that is happening. And then if we go to the metrics, we can see that we have one custom metrics and there is our metric that we just created. We can add it to the graph and we can see that it's been called one time. We can have a number, we can have a line, we can stack multiple metrics if we have so. And we can also uh, change the, the graphs type as we did with, with others. So if we call this multiple times, then we can see that our sum will show something else. So if we have the period in one minute and the sum of how many calls happen in one minute is five. If we do it in one hour, we can see six because there was first call and then five others that we did. We can have a line and we can have it separated by seconds. And then if we call it more times, then we'll see how the line behaves. And we can also have the time period that we are interested in. And we can see there, we have a graph of all the of the times this metric has been called. We can add this as well to our dashboard that we have created in the previous video. Same stuff, we add that metric 
and we put it in like one minute the sum and we can see the same graph and there if it's some important metric you can see I don't know how many customers has been created or how many customer has been deleted or I don't know whatever metric you are interested in you can uh, see like this and you can also add metrics to an existing widget so it's pretty cool one thing I like to do is to add the period in the title so I know this is for one hour so when you have numbers it can be a little bit tricky to know what it means so yeah that's how to add a custom metrics to your project. This was the video for today. I hope you like it. If you did, give a big thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, or things you would like to see more about the topic of logging or monitoring or metrics, leave them in the comment box below. I'm always interested in making videos that you want to watch. If you want me to evaluate any libraries or you work for some libraries and you want me to check them out and make a video out of it, also leave them in the comment box below. I will put them in my backlog and try them out as I always try to fulfill your requirements. And around here there is other videos from my channel for you to watch, so go ahead and click. And I see you in the next episode of Wu Bar. Ciao!